This is Deborah First for The Forward, and I'm here today with food writer and Forward Ingredients columnist Leah Koenig, the author of the forthcoming Hadassah Everyday Cookbook, Daily Meals for the Contemporary Jewish Kitchen, due out from Rizzoli next Passover. Hi, Leah. Hey, how's it going? Can you tell us a bit about the cookbook? As the title says, it's geared towards the everyday cook, so both men and women, even though Hadassah has typically been known for its work in the you know Jewish women's community, and it's geared towards um, quick, easy meals that are seasonal and healthy and delicious, but that don't take your entire evening to make, and you can um, spend more time eating and enjoying with your family. So last week, we spent a couple of hours together uh, cooking, I think, about 12 recipes for approximately 20 people to test out a whole bunch of the recipes for the cookbook. Can you tell me how you came up with the idea for a testing party and uh, what was the goal of it? Um, The testing party was really a function of a couple of things. For me, food doesn't make sense if it's not about feeding other people. I've always, you know, ever since I learned how to cook, which was in college when I lived in a a hippie co-op and lived with a lot of really great cooks, um, food has always been about gathering around a table. So the process of testing recipes can really feel like you're kind of in a vacuum, um, especially a really hot vacuum because it's been really hot this summer. <laughs> so I wanted to have a party where I could invite my friends to come and just A, have a good time, A, feed them the food, you know, so there weren't so many leftovers and really um, kind of gather their their thoughts and feedback as potential customers or consumers of the book and also just as, you know, thinking, eating people. So what we did is, as you know, we, uh, we cooked about I think it was 14 recipes total um, that kind of spanned the book. And, you know, most of the things that we cooked were were summer dishes like pasta salads. And um, we had a tart with like a with zucchini on it. And um, we had a bunch of dips and things that because it was, you know, probably 90 degrees that day, uh, really were things that you'd want to eat. And with each dish, they were all laid out on this really long table. And each one had a piece of paper next to it that people could um, put their comments on. And I really asked people to give honest feedback. Like, you know, obviously there's, there's ego involved with like writing a cookbook and you want it to be good and you want people to like it. But at this stage, what I really wanted was, um, to get, solid feedback. So people would go around and they would taste things. And on the one hand, it was like a cocktail party and they were eating and having fun. And on the other hand, they were writing things like, this has way too much garlic or um, this is perfect. Don't change a thing. Or, you know, this needs more sauce. Um, And that to me was just completely invaluable information to have. And it took the work out of out of testing. And it was really it was a fun night. You mentioned to me the other day uh, and an interest or a desire to help people learn how to be comfortable in the kitchen uh, through cooking. How have you put that into your cookbook um, while still giving people specific and precise measurements? My biggest goal is that cooking should be fun. It shouldn't be something that people get nervous about. It shouldn't be something that um, feels onerous or like, you know, too much work. So my, my hope with this cookbook is that as people hopefully buy it and use it, they start to really feel just comfortable even using the recipes themselves as springboards. And so how I try to go about that is I I kind of try to pretend like I'm explaining a recipe to a friend. And what I think the role of all good cookbooks and hopefully my cookbook will be, it'll be the voice of that friend. And obviously it's going to give more details. And I I really try to walk people through step by step um, in a way that's intuitive um, and would make them think, oh, that makes sense. I understand what she's saying. Um, but my, my ultimate hope is that people work their way through some of the recipes, find their favorites that they make all the time, and then find ways to make them their own and say, oh, I like this better with feta cheese instead of goat cheese. Or, you know, I would like to use a different type of vegetable. And nine times out of 10, that's not only going to be OK, it's going to be great. And they're going to make it their own. So that's that's my ultimate hope with the book. Leah Koenig, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to Hadassah Everyday Cookbook, Daily Meals for the Contemporary Jewish Kitchen, which will come out Passover of next year. For Forward.com, I'm Deborah First. Thanks for listening.